Backpacking on electric skateboards is one of the cornerstones of this channel. So uh, what do I do then when for half of the year the ground is completely buried in snow? Well, I build an electric snowboard, of course. By no means am I the first person to come up with the idea, but this is definitely a unique budget DIY approach. And assuming this thing actually works, it'll open up winter for cross-country backpacking trips on an electric rideable. The idea of an electric snowboard has been around for a while, but most of them are overly large, complex, and incredibly bulky designs that defeat the purpose of being portable. That is, something you can pick up and walk around with with minimal hassle. There's two primary designs that do hit the portability sweet spot though, and that's the two that I modeled my design after. The first, by a user named Shilsky on Instagram, features a spring-tensioned rear-mounted drive wheel using a high-powered hub motor, and the second, going by the name Power Traverse, features the cut-off end of the rear snowboard replaced by a flexible arm mounted motor, also with a high powered hub motor. My design is a sort of hybrid between the two, using off the shelf parts and a much more budget friendly approach. I found that there was two main problems to overcome with this project. The first was to make sure I kept the underside of the snowboard as flat and smooth as possible, as obviously the entire underside stays in contact with the snow and any protrusions will create drag. In order to attach the battery and ESC case and the motor mounts to the board, I ultimately decided to use heavy duty hurricane screws screws with a really wide and flat head to keep a low profile on the underside. It's not a perfect solution, it's still going to create drag, but it's low enough clearance to hopefully not cause many problems, and the testing phase will see how that goes. The second problem was traction with the drive wheel. It needs to stick below the plane of the board to dig into the snow and push the board forward, but it also needs to get pushed upward on harder ice and snow to remain level with the underside of the board. Shilsky and Power Traverse's design used two different approaches for this. One used, like I said, a spring tensioned shock system while the other used flexible arms. For simplicity and cost, I patterned my motor mount system after the flexible arm approach with a unique twist. My motor mount arms are 3D printed. The initial prototypes are in solid ABS and I'll eventually replace those with a set of nylon PA12 ones once I'm satisfied the concept will work. As these arms have to bear the brunt of the acceleration force and flex up and down to match the ground underneath, each arm is mounted to the board with four of those hurricane bolts through a thick and wide base plate for the arm. I'm not 100% confident that these 3D printed arms will hold up to the forces at play, especially when the plastic gets cold from the wintertime temperatures, but I'm definitely eager to get out and test. The benefit of 3D printing is I can rapidly iterate and test until I do get a design that works. The weak point, I think, is definitely where the axle sits in the arms insert. I wish I had a CNC to make some reinforced aluminum mounting points. A future upgrade, perhaps. For the motor itself, unlike the two designs I based mine off of, which use expensive custom motors, I opted to use an inexpensive off-the-shelf 500 watt Bafang e-bike hub motor. It's 36 volts so I can use my existing e-skate batteries and because it's such a low powered motor that means I'm not going to get a lot of torque or high speed since these things are meant to be in a much larger bike wheel but the goal of this project is not to do anything crazy I just want enough to get up to a decent cruising speed. For the tread itself I'll be 3D printing an insert for the hub motor to be secured in place with machine screws through the spoke holes in the hub motor similar to what Shilsky's design has. Initially, I'll only be aiming to make this thing work on hard packed snow and ice. Eventually, I might try a paddle style tread for softer snow, kind of like what Power Traverse has going on. For control, I went with a Flipski 75100 ESC with a VX1 remote. I've already done all the soldering needed to the XT60 battery hookup and the motor phase and hall sensor wires. That was a pain in the ass. I hate soldering. Initial tests with the wireless remote look good. It's picking up the signal. Once the motor arrives, I can start programming the ESC and fully validate my wiring. The snowboard itself isn't anything special, it's just some random one I found at the thrift store. Instead of locking my feet into the board, I opted instead to design a max track like horse traction pad to stand on, so I could step off and adjust my stands when needed, because remember we're not flying down steep hills at high speed with this thing, just cruising at a good jogging or running pace. Steering will be a problem without locking my feet in, hopefully the spiky traction pad is enough grip for me to spin the board as I need to direct it. The battery and ESC case is a simple waterproof container sourced from Amazon. Snow and salt are definitely a problem in winter, so I need to keep the critical electrical components isolated. It should also help trap in heat from the batteries and slightly reduce the battery efficiency loss from the cold temperatures. And there's links in the description for all of these parts if you're interested. I'm really excited to get this thing built out and running, as I would love to use it on a few backpacking trips 
trips once the winter comes. The whole point of this build is for backpacking and touring during the cold and snowy months. And guys, this is the first of many strange electric rideable projects I have planned. A quick reminder to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Adventuring on Electric Rideables is the name of the game, so make sure you click on this card to see all the crazy adventures I get up to with these things year-round. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you.